And one golden rule in Bible study is that you're reading Hebrew originals. These are Hebrews speaking the language which we now have in Greek. We have the Old Testament and the New Testament in Greek, but they are essentially Hebrew speakers. And so the way they use language is not, I repeat, not the same way as you do. You must allow for that. So you read there, not that anyone has seen the Father, but the one who has seen the Father is from God. And Jesus says, says, I've seen the Father. All right, so what about that? Had Jesus been to heaven to see the Father? I don't think so. But the solution is very easy. The word see in the Hebraic way of speaking can mean simply to understand. You can see a word, meaning you can understand a word. An example of that would be in Malachi chapter 1. And verse 1, you find that Malachi saw the word of God, meaning he understood it. My mother used to say to me, and remember things your mother says to you, she used to say, the blind man said, I see. That was a good illustration of using the word see in the sense of understanding. So let's read it with that understanding in John 6. Nobody's seen the Father except the one who's from God, that's Jesus. He has fully understood the Father. He's understood the Father's will in a very special way, a unique way. He's understood what God is doing. He's understood the great plan that God has for this world. Doesn't mean that Jesus had been to heaven yet. He had not yet even been to the Father after the crucifixion. He said, I haven't yet been to the Father. Certainly had been to, to not been to the Father before that. So that's a solution that the word see is to understand. To grasp the mind of somebody is to see in that language.